All right, we're with uh, Rodney Bingenheimer at the Hollywood Rock Walk, and we're here for the Cures induction to the Hollywood Rock Walk today. What brings you out here? Well, I'm a neighbor of the, of the Guitar Center. I live right nearby, and they invited me to come down. I was here for when the Ramones were here, and they got inducted. And plus, this is unusual. The Cure did this at night. Usually, they do these during the day. Mm-hmm. So, you're a big Cure fan? I was the first DJ to play The Cure on radio, on K-Rock, on Carol Q. I was playing, jumping someone else's train, and, that, and then I'd segue in the train to nowhere, you know, to kind of blend in and made it into a long song. And, and of course, with K-Rock, Carol Q, my station, they're big supporters of The Cure, you know, along with Richard Blade and the Swedish Eagle, Jed the Fish, and Tammy Heidi. They've always supported The Cure throughout the whole rock of the 80s. Mm -hmm. That's that's great for the band to have such support, especially in a town like Los Angeles. Oh yeah, yeah. Cure is really big in LA, definitely. They, they, were they surprised to see he you here today? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure of that. So do you mm -hmm. think something like this is long overdue? you think it's well deserved? Definitely, because you know, the whole, um, whole 80s sound is so big right now, especially in all the clubs, all the dance clubs. The, the 80s sound is, is probably the new disco. Yeah, but the Cure beyond that, definitely. I mean, they always have something new coming up, and, and right. I love that. Um, Rhino Records brought that box set. It's like a book, the four CD set. Right. It's really I amazing. I don't think I would lock the Cure into the 80s, though. They're so. I, I think they're. I was just telling Robert mm -hmm. that I think a lot of their music is timeless. I think oh, you yeah. can play it over and over again, and it doesn't really have so much of an 80s feel. It can be played. No, at it's any like time. now. It's like mm -hmm. there's only a few bands that can do that. And the Cure definitely. Right. One of that can really do that. They, they've definitely got a lot of different style within their music. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that something you noticed with them right away? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and people really love them, and people dress like them, and they start a whole fashion and trend. And design well. their hair like yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, tell me about your experiences with um, being an on-air broadcaster. What what have been the most memorable things for you? Well, um, this, you know, all the different interviews, I've had you know, people come down on my show, and doing the phone calls live on the air, and people playing acoustic. And Have you interviewed The Cure before? Never interviewed The Cure. Really? Yeah, but Richard Blade has. And a few of the other K-Rock DJs. But you've, I'm sure you've had many conversations with them, just like a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, not really. This is actually one of the first times I've actually met the Cure. Oh, wow. Yeah. So this is really exciting for you then, especially with the history you've had in yeah. playing them on the air. I know. Yeah, it's so weird. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's kind of a milestone for you then. Here. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, I know you had a, a documentary or something released recently. Right. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, it's called Mayor of the Sunset Strip. And it just came out. It's playing everywhere. And it's, I, it's yeah, I really want to see it. I haven't seen it yet. My life story as a kid growing up, growing up I used to, um, when I was a kid, lived in the Bay Area, I came to Hollywood, and got involved in music, and worked at various record companies, and wrote columns for magazines, and of course, landing at K Rock. That, that's a dream come true, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. How long, what, what year did you start at K-Rock? In 70, end of August 76, I think August 29th. And you've been there ever since? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's that's not um, normal <laughs> <laughs> for most places. Well, that's what happens when you have a one week, uh, one show a week. <laughs> it helps out, I yeah, think. Yeah, that's, that's great. Um, so, why did you pick broadcasting? You, if you said you worked in uh, for record labels and things like that, you could have been a band manager, maybe a tour manager. I could have. Well, I had a nightclub, and I've always been in the. I always loved radio. Radio. You I've always been my. I had a heart for radio yeah. since growing up. Listening to the radio when I was a kid, putting it under the pillow, listening late at night. You know. <laughs> it sounds like me. I did that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you tell me? Did you ever call DJs? Yeah, I used to call. I used to go down to the radio. Station stations and try to meet the DJs. Oh my gosh, it's yeah. not like me. <laughs> Alright, well, um, I want to thank you for talking to us here at the Rock Walk. Now, uh, have you been to any Rock Walk inductions before, being that you live down the street? Oh yeah, the Ramones. The Ramones. Oh, you've only been to two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's numerous. They're here all the time. There's I know. things going on all the time. you got to walk down the street. I hear they're trying to get the runaways. Let's oh. Keep our fingers crossed and maybe Blondie. Oh yeah, that would be great too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Alright, well, maybe we'll see you down here at the Rock Walk again. I hope so. Right. When they get Denny's over. Open next door. <laughs> I hear they're reopening Denny's. It's coming back. Really? Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> then we can all go there for coffee house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for talking to us, Rodney. Great. And congratulations on your years and years of broadcasting success. Well, not that long. Well, maybe that has been that long. Huh? Since the 70s? That's yeah. pretty good. Late end of the 70s. Well, that's good, though. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how I've been doing it nearly as long. Mm, You're much more experienced than me. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. All right. Thank you.